seems legit. Okay, um, I think I'm done once again. Okay, it looks like they've kind of went on the defensive. England won't notice how they're the leader of everything. England won't completely go after you at the start, but uh, they, if you do leave them alone, they will gather an army like that. So I want a diplomat over here, and hopefully I'll be able to take them over to Wales or Norway. If I could get an alliance with Norway, that would be perfect. Now that's a six percent chance, and so no, and that's an eight percent chance. <sighs> They won't <laughs> wow, really? Oh. I just noticed that Dublin has went rebel. <laughs> well, you know, England, I don't think you got a very good hold over the, <laughs> the people here, sorry. Wow, I can't believe they honestly just went to... <laughs> well, that's something. My king! Uh, I got my king coming down here. Where's the fight? I'll send in a catapult and that's not catapult. Aye, joining our forces. An assassin that can't really do much. Cool. Who or what needs removing, sire? Who do you want? Can't even sabotage. Oh, I took out the bowyer. It doesn't really seem to do much anyway. Okay. I don't want peasants. Um. I'll get an assassin now, I guess. I'll try and make. Because um, Ireland started out with quite a lot of assassins and thieves, I've found. Cork doesn't need anything. And I will My sit king. an army I I on the border here, so they know I mean business. Command me. Okay. Now, is there anything going on in diplomacy? Yeah, if Scotland are enemies with Norway. I can. Now, to get a diplomat to Wales, it probably it probably be better getting it to Wars, Norway Wales. first. Ashore, sire. Bring a so let's try and get an alliance for map information. I do not think you would accept in my position. That seems okay, actually. I'll give them seven hundred and eighty. We shall not soon forget this. This is wonderful. Your time was most right. Fun. Good. Um, so we've got an alliance with Norway, who are quite strong, so I, I'm hoping to uh, make sure I try and keep that alliance as much as I can. I'm going to take it down to Wales. The English and the Scottish don't look so good right now um, in terms of uh, keeping their alliances, so yeah. My king. So I'll, I'll move you over there. And this place actually will, looks like it will uh, be pretty good to seize. To siege, so I'll take that. Order, I, my liege. Now they got a rebel army on them and everything, jeez. It, it's get. just them, but Coward. my will. Command and they're dead, sire. So did they lose a general? It no, it's just a captain. Who do you want dead? Ah! That I managed to kill eventually. Yes. Okay. I sire. Where's the fight? Aye. Aye. Right. If what? Only I could reach. Where's the fight? My king. But I will bring Not these armies down sire. here. Aye. Command me. Aye, Lord. And uh yeah. <coughs> so far it's been going pretty good. Okay. Aye, sire. Yeah. So they've got a rebel city and everything's going poorly for England. I'm pretty sure they're in, in history as well, they couldn't really keep a grasp on Ireland because, you know, they were so far away from home when they were actually um, in control of it. 
and of course all, all they would always rebel let's get some stuff on the go in terms of building do I really want to build that? probably not that'll do for now so once again it looks like I'm over with my turn I forgot that I had another assassin here let us settle matters on yes, my king. Now I got spying cork. When did I have that? I can't remember recruiting him. Stopping ears. And I got a spy in Dublin. I'll put him to, into trim. Instead. It's good that he's getting some uh, skill now. Maybe I'll actually have a decent spy here. 269 turns and you need to capture Dublin and Trim why is it saying take these two places is that for a long campaign or something and that's kind of weird yeah where's my other agents like something to investigate spine trim and their assassin Aye. An assassin. Okay. From the trees, the enemy is upon us. Hmm. Of course. Well, I would do that and everything now, uh, but I'm gonna take this place first. I'll leave that for now. Right, we got our army here. The thing is, I can just go and take their place and keep. Yeah. And the gates are open. But. I'd rather take a catapult and some other units. Um, okay, I don't have space. That much space. Doop doop, and I'll put you there. Move out! And you can join Aye. him. Joining our forces. And Derry's apparently um, unhappy. Okay, everything that uh, Who needs a sick? Who do you want? that England likes is now Aye. falling <laughs> before them, really. Who do you spy want here. He can go and investigate yes, his fort. Moving in closer. And Something then jump out of it. Right. Okay, we got two battles here. This one, of course, is going to be fairly um, easy. Now, if I took a look at the other one, that looked a bit... It's a bit more uh, risky. So I'm going to auto-resolve this one, and I'll fight the other one. I thought, I thought I would lose like 240. It's not too bad. And I will sack. These people and repair. And build Victory. roads, for God's sake. Okay. My king. I don't Move have up. enough room, so I will instead Aye. go sit Forward. beside the sea. Now, England still have quite a bit of units over here, but they're starting to lose their grip on Ireland here. Yes, my king. Aye. I really wish I could assassinate this guy, but it looks like I'm going to need to beat him in combat. I got a couple capitals up here that are used to say white and red, so I'll send them that way. And I need some more units up here. I don't want a ballista. Train some units there. And I'll get... I'll get, the, I'll get this fort kind of occupied a bit as well. Right, time to fight this. Starling Bridge, huh? <laughs> okay. This. This shouldn't be tricky, um, really, but uh, there might be a little bit of error. Right, so I want these guys back here, and I want missile units back here. And my cavalry can be there, or in here, or something. 
I don't think I really need to bring ladders too much. Right, we have some archers, so let's go and try and scald them a bit there. So they're keeping their their army back here, basically. Ah, and they're moving them forward, great. <laughs> and I'll move the ladder guys up, just in case. But these are peasant archers, they shouldn't be too much of trouble, really. I'll spread these guys out, actually. Yeah, I want them in loose formation, there you go. Okay. My guys aren't much better, are they? <laughs> Not really. Okay. England need to get out of Ireland, basically. <laughs> so we'll bring our ram up here, very slowly, of course. Yeah, I'm feeling the speed up button a lot. A lot. Now, where's my other ram? Bring that up here as well. Now, I don't want to touch the other ram. Men have reached the gate with a battering ram. Right, um, now as I'm doing this, I want you to drop the ladders and everyone else to run forward ish. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Right. Now we run all our guys forward, mostly. <laughs> I think I'll keep my cavalry back a bit. Okay, maybe not that back. I'll have them on the edge here. Okay, their formation is... Okay. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy! I guess I can bring them in, because these are just peasants. The peasants will just flee, like, almost immediately, honestly. But what have we got in here? We got Spear Moshe, Spear Moshe, right. I don't want the cavalry running into spearmen. Ever. But for these guys, we should be okay. <laughs> now, when are they actually going to turn and fight me? Probably soon. I'm getting run it, ready to run these guys out. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy okay. belong to us now. We want our infantry up, and I'll rush my cavalry out real quick. Because, yeah, cavalry up against spearmen is not a good idea. At least our archers are keeping the, the fire up there. Doesn't look like they're killing many of them, but oh well. They are, they're probably just as bad as uh, peasant archers, honestly. Okay. Some of those spearmen are moving about. The oil makes this quite a... Uh, annoying procedure um, if you're just stuck there though so that's the problem so maybe get my cavalry in now because they kinda just uh, they help push your, yourself in even if they aren't great against spearmen 
So let's let's have a little charge in here. Yeah, there we go. Casualties, unfortunately, will probably be high when you do this, but mm, I kind of need to get in here now. <laughs> And we can kind of spread out a little. Right. Okay, everyone needs to get in here now. Okay. I'll have the cavalry just wait there. So we got light cavalry all the way about there. Now, I don't want you charging. God. have them take the peasants out. Or at the very least flank these guys. Right, they can't really kill anything honestly. You know, you don't look where you're moving. So let's have uh, let's have our two friends over here go around here. And they are going this way, right? And do a simple flank attack. Okay, now they're running. I, th I thought it was taking them a while, honestly. Okay. I like how they've lined themselves up completely here to just get flanked. You know, speaking of Total War, I've seen a bit on Rome 2 um, recently. I haven't been looking too much into it, but some of it looks like incredible so far, yeah. Uh, I'm not too big a fan of the Rome timeline, actually. Um, I prefer Medieval. If I ever saw Medieval 3 after this, which is a possibility, I'd probably, I'd probably just play that forever, honestly. But that's just me. I know a lot of people like the wrong. The enemy are badly bloody. Yeah, that's a bad they idea. <laughs> half their men. Yeah, you're dead. So dead. I like how the peasant archers are just sitting there. No, I don't think I should have these guys firing anymore. Okay, no, I didn't want to do that yet. So, let's go and kill these guys last of all. Well, not last of all, they're still a little, but yeah. Barely anything. Just, uh, one light cavalry. Right, um... Actually, I should just get them to run around here. They'll probably get a good uh, sort of spot to attack from there. I don't think my archers are really going to have any point to them. Is that like oh, a single peasant archer attacking? Yeah, it was. Two of them left. Okay. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, I can't rally right now. Look at the balls on these archers. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, they, I know there's an ar a whole army there, but nah, we can take them. 
it's fine. By it's the fine. saints, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yeah, it's just a captain cam then. Good news. Our men are in control. Okay, of the stop that. <laughs> I figured that's probably a bad idea. Right, I don't want my fucking general dying here. Well, hey guys, I'm back because the game crashed. And of course, I ought to resolve that again because I didn't save it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna resolve it. You saw I had a, a pretty much a clear lead, so yeah. Uh, pr pretty much I was already winning that anyway, so yeah. Lost more than I probably would have, but oh, well. oh god, that was a lot I destroyed there. <laughs> now, it says I want at least four units. My king. Um, Aye. My king. So I'll send Aye. these four back, March. even though that's probably more we than enough. No further today. May as well get peasants, I guess. Aye, right. Heading ashore, sire. Here is Wales, or a fort of Wales what at least. You wish to discuss? Let's try that. This seems cool. quite reasonable. Good day to you. And we have another alliance with Wales. I'm actually making friends in this. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? So we know we know where Wales is and their surrounding territory now, you can see on the map. And we know where Norway is, kind of. So uh yeah. Yes, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Who needs a second smile? I don't really want the assassin to go there, but whatever. Who do you want dead, my lord? I mean it's still five percent honestly on this guy, so yeah. So I've basically taken over most of Ireland. Or a place then, sire. The only real resistance is these two places around Trim and Dublin, which is a rebel say. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good for my first batch, first five turns. There you go. So, I don't know what the why the crash happened, so I hope, I hope you... Um, <clears throat> I hope you forgive me for the game crashing on me, basically. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go save this as Ireland 1. Because what else am I going to call it? I probably should have called it just, like, Irish 1, but whatever. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms and the Britannia campaign. See you guys.